Orifice is an opening of any size or shape at the bottom or side wall of a container, water tank, reservoir, etc., through which the fluid is discharged. An orifice plate is a thin plate with a hole in the middle which is utilized for volumetric flow measurements. Orifice uses Bernoulli's principle which states that there is a relationship between the pressure of the fluid and the velocity of the fluid. If the geometric properties of the orifice and the inherent properties of the fluid are known, then the orifice can be used to obtain flow rates. Orifice plates are usually used for continuous measurement of a fluid through pipes. The objective of this lab is to determine the coefficient of velocity and coefficient of discharge of two small orifices. An adjustable overflow pipe is provided adjacent to the header tank to allow changes in the head. A flexible hose attached to the overflow pipe returns excess water to the sump tank. A scale indicates the water level. Finally, a baffle at the base of the tank promotes smooth conditions prior to the orifice plates. The orifice plate is sealed against an O-ring by means of special fitting which gives a flush inside surface. The trajectory of the jet may be plotted using the vertical needles. In operation, a piece of paper is attached to the backboard and the needles are adjusted to follow the profile of the water jet. The needles may be locked using a screw on the mounting bar. The profile may be plotted by marking the position of the needle top. Locate the apparatus over the molded channel and the top of the bench. Using the spirit level attached to the base, level the apparatus by adjusting the feet. Connect the flexible inlet tube to the quick release fitting in the bed of the channel. Position the adjustable overflow tube at mid height and tighten the lock nut. Switch on the service pump, then gradually open the bench flow control valve. When the water level in the header tank reaches the top of the overflow tube, adjust the bench flow control valve to get a water level of 2 to 3 millimeters above the overflow level. The jet trajectory is obtained by using the needles mounted on the vertical backboard to follow the profile of the jet. Release the securing screw for each needle in turn and move the needle until its point is just immediately above the jet and retighten the screw. Mark the location of the top of each needle on the paper. Note the horizontal distance from the plane of the orifice taken as x is equal to zero to the coordinate point marking the position of the first needle. This first coordinate point should be close enough to the orifice to treat it as having the value y is equal to zero. Thus, y displacements are measured relative to this position. Repeat this test for a lower reservoir head. Then repeat the above procedure for the second orifice. Measure the flow rate by time collection using the measuring cylinder provided and note the reservoir head value each time. Repeat this procedure for different heads, 320, 300, 280, 260, and 240 millimeters by adjusting the level of the overflow tube. This procedure should also be repeated for the second orifice. Be sure to clean up your station and any water that may have spilled. Following the lab manual, complete the results table and put together your lab report. If you have any questions, consult your teaching assistant or professor.